You've likely seen the images, or maybe you sat in one of these lines yourself. People waiting hours in Omaha to get a COVID-19 test. At home kits, hard to find. What I'm hearing and what I'm seeing firsthand is that we have unacceptably long lines um, for COVID testing, and we need to do better. And there's a serious lack of testing capability uh, in Nebraska. And it's, it's causing problems. Nebraska Senators John McAllister and Adam Morfeld are calling on the governor to step up and increase testing capacity. McAllister says Nebraska knows how to do this after ramping up testing earlier in the pandemic and running a vaccine rollout. Morfeld says there's plenty of federal funding that could go toward improving the testing infrastructure. So really, this is in the governor's court. They have the federal funds and the ability to execute on this. They need to dedicate the time and resources to do it. The state's Test Nebraska initiative ended last July. The private contractor that ran the program, Nomi Health, opened its own testing sites around the state, including three in Omaha. Nomi also has a test site in Council Bluffs. But Pottawatomie County officials have an additional tool at their disposal. So the saliva kits are the take-home test kits. When Test Iowa closed its drive through sites last year, the program continued with a new effort. The state provides Pottawatomie County with about 200 home test kits weekly, and people can even order their own at testiowa.com. So we, we have plenty of supply, and we try to push those out to the rural communities for different pickup locations. Pottawatomie County says it helps keep up with demand, and that's what Nebraska senators want to see in their state. And, you know, there's really no excuse for us not to uh, get uh, more involved than we have. I, I would uh, hope the governor would uh, take action as he should.